somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. Somebody. I'm not gonna say who. Oh, I think you might know him very well. So guys, of late I made a video where I said you shouldn't move to Maya 2019 yet. Just be confused stuff that was supposed to be fixed, some stuff that I felt should have been fixed before now, some stuff that a lot of people have talked about that is supposed to be fixed before now has not been fixed. And I've also gotten a couple of comments that are saying it's either you're using the tool wrongly or maybe you just have to do one thing or the other and I'm saying that doesn't work. The first thing which I talked about, if I can remember clearly, is I talked about this cube. I actually made use of a cube and I said some things like the symmetry when it comes to uh, creating or making multi cuts that the symmetry doesn't work. Okay, some dude showed up and said, no, you need to put something in the middle. Okay, fine. It doesn't work. And I said, okay. If this doesn't work, so why doesn't it respect the fact that this is within the world axis? Okay, it understands certain things like this. It understands that this is within the world axis. It understands that the face, for example, is also within the world axis. It also understands that this, which is the edge, is also symmetrical to the world so why in god's name will it not understand that it should be able to put a loop around here well a lot of people came up with suggestions saying you know you have to make something in the middle and that and i'm saying because that shouldn't work that only should work when there is a model that doesn't have equal stuff or maybe there's a model that doesn't exist in the world space and then maybe Maya is going to ask you to either identify where the middle is or maybe you just want to make sure that you have identified where the middle is because you're importing this from somewhere I understand that that might also work in some instances probably maybe because during the time of creation you added some loops I understand that that might work but all I'm saying is why would this not work we're talking about Maya and this is 2019 i don't know what era you guys live in but i'm all i'm saying is this is 2019 and it should work okay i don't care how they're going to do it but i'm saying that is a bug and it should work and a lot of people have complained about this i've complained about this previously and i'm saying it right now that the symmetry when it comes to using the multi cut tool is broken okay the next thing which i said was when you actually make this a live object and you switch to the quad draw okay and you know this is still within xyz and i make stuff like this okay so let's say we just made this this stuff and i think for the video someone said you're supposed to actually make it connected you cannot compare this and that okay fine all i all i was saying in that video was when you have a tool like this using the quad draw for some reason it works okay for some reason it works and for the for the guys in the comment section from the previous one that said uh you need to have something in the middle bro there is nothing in the middle and this works so i don't know where you guys get your comments from or i don't know what you guys are on all i'm saying is that stuff is broken if it can understand this there was no there was no loop in the middle of this stuff but yet it still understands some way somehow okay some way somehow it still understood that this is the middle all i'm saying is why can't it just understand that this is the middle why can't it understand that this is the middle of this object why can't it understand that i need to put loops around here okay i don't know i don't know i, I have no idea i'm just i'm just baffled about all of this stuff because i'm getting comments from a lot of guys and they sound very reasonable but at the end of the day you still see that they are still saying the same thing and for some dude asking um questions about the extrude for the extrude i was also saying the same thing i'm saying why can't they just create a tool that works you you give us a bunch of tools and at the end of the day most of them don't work so for that other one just for the sake of those who are just watching this for the first time all i was saying is we have this stuff here okay so if we choose to extrude so i choose to extrude to the middle and then i choose to extrude all the way up for goodness sake if this is not supposed to have a menu why then would you add a menu that when i press t on the keyboard i see a menu and once i start increasing the subdivision everything gets broken 
That's all I'm saying. If it's not working, then it shouldn't be there. If it's working, then you should go ahead and make it work properly. I don't like the fact that every single time we complain about the same thing, they, 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 there's promises of box fixes, and some dude is coming around the comment and saying that, oh, sorry, bro, I think it works. I think you just did it wrong. I need someone to make that thing work and maybe show me how it works, and I'm going to be so glad to see it happen. Something else I think you should probably know is working with a model like this and let's say some parts are not so s symmetrical or maybe you have some dentations uh, happening here maybe there's some deformation here this uh, another deformation here but you're very sure that the uh let's say you're very sure that it's having the same amount of polygon faces on the other side on the both sides okay so how you can get that to work is quite simple i understand that this definitely needs something in the middle so for you to make that work, I think you should come over here and then you should go over to symmetry, check the uh, topology. It's going to ask you to select the edge. So once you just double click and make a selection of the edge, automatically, if you just switch, you see, you can have all of this uh, symmetry happening. So this one works and I am not actually complaining about this. All I'm saying is some tools are broken. The append is broken, especially when you're working with symmetry. I actually tagged it as symmetry is broken totally. The um, extrude stuff is still not working. And yes, there was a good point that someone made that it was also broken in uh, in 2018.5. And I figured out that, yeah, it's also broken in 2018.5. So, but all I'm saying is don't move to this um update yet especially if you're just coming into maya for the first time don't move to this update yet until they probably fix this stuff and maybe you have to wait for the first update or the second update before you can move into or uh, maybe move using this and this is my response to that video because i got a lot of comments from people claiming to say it works when it doesn't work and i have spent a couple of time trying to just make sure that i see that this thing works but goodness me, it made me feel like I was putting my clothes backward. That stuff doesn't work. If you know anyone that is working in Autodesk or maybe anyone that is working uh, within the Maya development team, please talk to them and tell them to try as much as possible to fix this and probably any other thing that has to do with something like this. If it's not working, it shouldn't be there. If, if some tools are not working, just take it totally out. I'm not in support of having tools that are claimed to work and at the end of the day, we don't see them working. And I, I think that's about it. Uh, this is more of a rant than an educational video yet. So you guys tell me what you think about it in the comment section. Just like I said, they are broken. You can try it for yourself. And I don't know what you guys want me to say. Till I see you guys next time. Peace.